and welcome back. Today we're going to be doing some little jobs. I need to put some lighting around the villages, make them nice and properly illuminated. And then I think I'm going to go and explore the mines at the back because we did find that there was a mine shaft back there and I think it's pretty big. So we'll go have a proper look at that because we keep going to and then being distracted by big scary dragons on the hillside. But very quickly before we do that, I did notice, and I don't know if they're still here, I did notice earlier that there were a couple of baby villagers. I've put this bridge in, they're still getting out. There is now an iron golem as well. I've got to be careful getting them out of that boat with him there, because if I hit them by accident, he's just going to launch me. Yeah, so this does stop the villagers falling in quite often, but they do still occasionally fall in, but uh, nothing like as much as they were doing. I'm not seeing any baby villagers at the moment, so they must have grown up, but there definitely was two. That is maybe one of them. Excuse me, thank you. Ah well, they must have grown up, but still. It is nice to know that we're not just stuck with these numbers. Whatever the problem was, they have started actually having some babies. I did give them a ton of carrots, so maybe it was just collectively their inventories were too empty. I think I gave them about 10 stacks of carrots around the village, so hopefully that's helped. And now whenever I chuck bread at them, it should make a difference. Also, I adore this guy. He goes everywhere. You will see him over every bit of the village. You'll find him on the rooftops. You'll find him stuck in the ponds. He's brilliant. He's adorable. He's so silly and goofy and he gets right in people's faces. But he's my favourite, he's so daft. I might have to give him a name. But the squad's doing well so we can just leave them to it and uh, get on and build some lighting. Because other than torches and stuff hidden under carpets, there's no lighting around here. I've got two designs. I've got a design for in the town and I've got a different design for out in the mines, which we shall do. We shall do town first, then we'll go put lighting in the mines and then we shall go explore the mineshaft. So I went AFK at the Froglight Farm for probably maximum 35 minutes. I think it was closer to 25, but I wasn't paying a huge amount of attention. So we'll say 30 minutes. And uh, yeah, yeah, it got a lot of a lot of frog lights. That farm is superb. And that's only with two frogs. So for the town, I want the ochre frog lights. And I don't think I'm going to need more. Actually, no, I'll take three stacks. And I'm going to use purple for the mines. But we'll come back to those. The ones in the town are going to be fairly simple in design. I don't need them to be tremendously complicated or anything. But something I did want to incorporate with it, which I'll have to craft because I don't have any, is I want to put street signs on them so that every street has a name and then as we expand the main part of the town we can add more street names. Are you okay in there? We don't have many streets fully done. There'll probably be two or three named in this part of the village here and this will probably just be Main Street or something like that. And as and when version 1.20 comes out and we hopefully get the hanging signs, I always say hopefully because things do change, but once we get the hanging signs I'll probably go in and add hanging signs as well or I'll swap them out, whatever looks cutest. I am looking forward to those hanging signs. After being AFK at the Froglight Farm I also went back to Frog Farm and uh, went back to those mountains where I got a load of surface iron. A lot of surface iron. This doesn't include the stuff that I picked up while I was there. That had already been fortuned and smelted, so this is all just stuff that I got off the mountaintop. Very nice, thank you very much. How many blocks of iron is that? Cool. Alright. I think I need to get a copper overflow, don't I? So you're oxidised, you're waxed, you're oxidised. Lightning rod, thingamabob. Oh, missed you. There we are, that's a bit more tidy. I'm gonna start with a couple of lights somewhere in the village. I definitely want one on this street because this is the bathhouse. So I think it would make sense to have something here. I think I'm gonna put one here. Doggy, if you can move a little. Perfect, thank you. Oh yes, I did notice him as well. Get out. Thank you. The town design is quite simple. There we are, the composter in the middle. Ah, oh, so squelchy. Hi. I might shorten that because that's kind of annoying me. Everybody's come to have a look. Oh, 
For now, I'm calling this cotton wall lane because there's a wall of cotton. Fairly simple. Got some banners, a little bit of foliage because I, I have to have some foliage. But I won't put too much around the bottom because it's already creeping into the path a little bit. It's a bit chunky, but I'm hoping that once I've got a couple around the settlement, it won't look too bad. I think I'll put another one around here. Again, is that the nitwit? It is, isn't it? Always having an adventure. So is there somewhere this side that I can put a lamp? Maybe around here? I don't need to be too precious about the uh, fences because they're just falling in anyway. This, I think, can be two bridge shambles. We're going for some very, like, Northern English weird names for streets here. Just gonna do a quick run. They look out of place as I'm running past. I feel like the bases are a bit big. I'm tempted to make them flat on the front and then move the sign down. I might leave the signs up there for now since I'm moving them at some point anyway. But yes, I might still take that front off so it doesn't eat into the path as much. Yeah, that feels better. A bit weird, but better. I think I'll put one more around here, since we've got plenty of space around here. Worm watch way. Which is a silly thing to say out loud. It seemed kind of cool when I wrote it, and then I said it, and it sounded silly. But oh well, it's done now. With three done, I'm just going to have a quick flyover. Do they look horribly out of place? Nah, they seem fine. They're maybe a bit... Oops. They're maybe a bit too in a line. So I might need to put more somewhere else. I'd maybe like to put one around here somewhere and one up here. Maybe one around there. But I also don't want to be too heavy with them. One there might look quite nice. Good old Market Street. Up here at the top of the village, we've got Rattle Street. Because just down here is my skeleton spawner. So maybe they can hear the bones. Maybe they can hear the skeletons down there. Oh, I didn't mean to fall in. Okay. Back out we go. But yes, maybe they can hear the bones. Maybe it's a bit spooky and haunted up here. I think I'll put one more on this patch here. And this street up into the top part of the town is just called Upper Bywall Avenue because it is the upper part of the town. It is by the wall. And we can say it's an avenue. I don't think it really is. I think there are specific meanings behind whether something is a street or an avenue or a, a boulevard or a walk or whatever, but we're going with that for now. These names may be subject to change, but I think that will do for this part of the town. I don't know if I'll bother putting some in the roads yet because I don't know where the roads are going so I'm just going to end up taking them down anyway. Do I want to put any in the harbour? I think I might leave the harbour for now and come up with a design specifically for it because then I can maybe put three kind of following these docks sticking out. We'll see. I'll go put some in the mines. I think I'll just tidy up my inventory before I go. Um? But what is... I see. Okay. These are new. We seem to have some more crystals. Don't think there's anything new going on down there. But there certainly is up here. Well, it's kind of pretty. Well, these must be the weird beacon powers that uh, Horatio was talking about previously. Can maybe use them for lighting. Can maybe hang some lights off them. That might look quite cool. So I do want to put some lights in around here. And I have a different design. It's similar, but different. I quite like this one. I prefer it to the one that I've done in the town, but it's too big for the town. It's too chunky. It would just look silly and out of place. I had to streamline the one for the village and the town. And today I think I might do the doorway for here as well. Just while we're here, this is really bugging me that this is just a hole in the wall. So I might finally get around to put in a proper doorway here. Lights first. Set myself up in the doorway like I usually do. I think I'll just time lapse these because I'm not naming them. This isn't a street, so they don't need street names. I'll just build them. Here we are, just some very basic lighting. I wanted to bring more copper in and I quite liked the idea of using the purple because then it would tie in with the amethysts. Maybe we can kind of pretend it's making a purple glow. Yeah, they, they light up quite nicely, don't they? They do quite a, quite a bright light. They really stand out. Yeah, that'll do for now. I think I'll do the doorway. Yeah, got my new stuff ready to go. I don't want to make this too big, but I would like to kind of shape it into the hillside properly. Uh, I might even cut this in a little bit so it starts where the stone already is. Just take away this dirt edge. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what fits. And here we have it. A little wee gateway. 
it's not perfect it's not tremendously symmetrical either like inside that's obviously a bit more top heavy that side but i quite like it i quite like the fact it's a bit messy again this is something they've just done in a hurry with a little bit of decoration at the top just to show off what they've been mining out here but that will do for now i don't mind changing stuff like this in the future if it turns out i have a better idea and i want to make it big and grand i'll do that now i would like to go exploring down in the mine shaft but i do have to go back to fix my bow because poor david is on his last legs how many millions of xp is this gonna be is it just not gonna do it oh come on i've only fixed it once oh that's a shame okay so i've got to do some enchanting instead do the spider spawner because that's where my enchantment setup is i already have several bows ready to go but they're in my backup supply so that needs punch and power for probably add that one to it it's got everything except punch I'll have to go without punch for now. I do find it quite helpful. I've just popped the replacement bow in my inner chest for now. But now let's finally go and have a quick look around this, this mine shaft. Did I not light this up? I've been down here because I've gutted it. There are too many dark corners here for my liking. Get the gold. won't dig up too much of those because I would actually like to pick up some cobwebs at some point because I use them in decoration sometimes. Oh, hello. Oh, minecart. Don't trust that. I'm not going to dig too much for iron at the moment because I'll come back here and clear this out at some point. If this is an iron vein, I'll just go through it with a fine tooth comb and get as much of it as I can. Oh, I'm back up at the beginning. Okay, I did just say I wasn't going to dig too much for iron, but I have just got like a shulker box and a half-ish. Well, shulker box and a bit of tough because there was just a big vein of it here and I, I just kept going. I don't know why tough gets me like that. Disappointingly though, I don't actually think there's that much down here been around and I keep looping back to the same points so either it's just not connected to the rest of the mine shaft or it there just isn't any here like I'm sure I found more than this when I've just been like organically mining and tunneling around here but uh, we shall have to see in the future because I'm just not finding anything at the moment it just keeps coming to dead ends do a very quick fix on my pickaxe I'm gonna go back down and do a wee bit of strip mining right at the bottom where the beacon is because that might open up more mine shaft if it's in like separate cave areas i might be able to find it not that one it's the one by the dripstone isn't it where's the dripstone gone that one's got some yeah this one yoink don't dig up the tough again i don't need that much i am this far in this far in to a mine and i what am i on 29 oh no two stacks well, one and a half stacks of iron already. This is this is just silly. Let's keep going. What level am I at? Minus 37, so I'm not... Am I that, that's not that low. I think I still am very much in diamond range, though, considering I got some diamonds from the mine above me. Oh, well, that was dramatic. Okay, we'll have a look this way and get some of this surface iron. You can hear a zombie, so maybe we're coming up on a cave. Couldn't see a thing, I had to shut my blind. Oh, deep dark. I think this is just goo. Oh, there's a thingy. That's quite a lot. It's so dark. I love this stuff, I want to build with it someday. Oh, um, okay, we've, um, we've found where the worm might be hiding. It's deep down here. Okay, this is just a bit of it. Don't know which bit. Hmm, you maybe don't want to go any further this way then just now. You don't want to wake it up. Try going a little further down, see if there's anything interesting. So far, nothing shrieked at me, so... Don't think this is anywhere near an actual 
ancient city. Oh, hi. Keep picking up bits as I see them. No, nothing's reacting. Well, it's good to know this is down here and that it's quite easy to get to. If I want to try and farm this stuff, it's right here. Now, where did I come in? And this one back here is a cave, but it goes into more deep dark. So that's probably not going to be safe for us to go into at the moment. Oh, this one's chatty. I think it's reacting to a squid or the bat. Huh, there's nothing here except iron. Unless I start digging into here, I can't actually do much more here aside just take this surface iron. So I'll leave this one for now and I think we'll call it quits for today's mining adventure because we do not want to wake that dragon. If it's just there, it's a bit close. I don't think we need to be too precious with it because it slept through all of the building work we were doing and it was only over on the other hill. So I don't think it's um, gonna wake up at the slightest noise but still mining right around it might be a problem. Go home and decant the spoils. I think we'll do some decoration work on the top of the mines now. Go and put in some of the rail carts and stuff that I've been uh, talking about for a while. But first I'm gonna go and see if I can find some tropical fish and then we can see about getting some more baby axolotls. Since those axolotls are so fussy about what they want to eat. You know they have to be live. Anyway, the mossy cave is just over here somewhere about there-ish. Where is it? Here. There it is. In we go. I'm actually going to get some of this rooted dirt while I'm here because I actually use this sometimes in builds. Gotta be careful I don't destroy my stairs. Oh wow, I've got like over three stacks doing that. Anyway, that'll do. Eleven buckets of tropical fish. That should do for now. I don't know if you can uh, breed tropical fish or if you can make an environment where they spawn naturally. I'm stuck. Come on. But for now, that will do. I didn't realise there were so many colours. Let's see. Are you any less fussy now? Okay, that's one. No, bring the fish back. You need it. Thank you. It was you. Little brown one? Oh, yes, a little brown one. Now I have two browns. Anyway, I'll go empty out my inventory because I've still got it full of rooted dirt and then we'll do some decoration back here. Put some minecarts in, maybe put some platforms in, some, you know, like boxes of ores and stuff like that and uh, maybe do some custom trees because these are, these are beginning to annoy me. They're so very lollipoppy. Some nice custom trees might look very good. I want some copper, but I'll fortune everything else as well. I want to make some raw copper blocks. Got me exactly a stack. Very nice. And, well, eight. Eight extra. Uh, the rest I will fortune. These are ones that are going to be put aside for building. Actually, I think I've got some put aside here as well. Yeah, I've got some emerald as well. And the deep slit. I'll hang on to that for now. I'll take some... Yeah. Right, got some stuff. Just lots of different building things. Let's go decorate the top of the mines. Well, the surface part. You know what I mean. You'll see. There we are. Ready to go again. So I'm thinking... I want to put some kind of hanging lights from the amethysts. I'd like to put in rail carts and some platforms, maybe build some stuff up around here so this isn't quite so bare. I might, just using dirt or something, mark out where some of the cranes might go because I did say that I'd like to put more cranes in. So I might mark out where those are going and then I can roughly build around them. I'd like some areas to be quite, you know, rubbly and quite natural, but then for other areas to be really built up, like that's where the present activity is have boxes of ores sitting around. I'm stuck. There we go. And yes, I would like to do some custom trees. Probably take these ones down. Probably just make them a bit smaller and a bit stringier as if they're um, newer trees that have grown up after an initial clearing. Maybe they will have some tree stumps as well still. And I might put some more amethyst geodes around the ring right at the top so that they stand out a bit more since we are trying to attract in a certain amethyst drake. I actually don't think I brought any dirt. Can't really use it for mapping out if I haven't brought it. I'll take a couple more while I'm here. Since we've got so many amethysts on this side as if it's already been excavated, it might make sense to put a crane here. So maybe back here-ish. Have a look at the terrain. There's the hot spring bit over there, isn't there? I keep forgetting about that. Yeah, no, there's a nice flat bit here. Besides needing a little bit of levelling, it's basically flat. So I might... Oops, I might mark one out here actually maybe going this way so that it's over the geodes. There is a rough approximation of one. 
This isn't exactly how big it'll be, I've just marked out roughly. Kind of hanging out over here. So we'd have something suspended around here, so it might be nice to put... Okay. It might be nice to put some platforms around here as if stuff's being lifted from there. On the platforms here, maybe there's some railway stuff going out that way. Or a mule, something like that. Um, where else? Maybe over there as well, actually, because then it'll tie in more nicely with the uh, the rest area that we've got over here. It's got the little hot spring and some sleeping areas for the workers. Yeah, there's a good flat bit up here as well. Kind of ready and waiting. Yeah, okay, so one here. I just don't know which way, because I kind of I feel like it's going to be really difficult to do one diagonally. But I suppose they could pull them in for when they're not in use, so they're not overhanging the mine too much. Okay, so yeah, we'll put one up here eventually, not doing this today. So one here. A quick look from above. Let's land on the crane if we can, if we can. Yes. So one over there. And where did it go? There. Yeah, I think that'll work quite nicely. Have that one going this way, I think, so it matches this one. And then the one over there can come out. Although maybe I will have that one facing more towards here, so then we've not got the same repeated shapes. Anyway, time to go to sleep. Ouch, time to break my ankles. So if I know there's going to be a crane up there, I might turn this bit into a bit more of a cliff face, so it's not just perched on some gritty looking dirt, because that's a bit precarious. And then I might put more platforms and stuff around here that can tie into these steps, since the steps are already there. And I'll put another platform area around here as if it's coming from the amethysts and running up or possibly running down towards the, the doorway here. And then I might connect it. I might put a load of connections across here on different levels. I know what it is I want to do. I'm just having a hard time describing it. So I might just get on and do it because that's probably the most sensible way. And everything is so bitty that I think I'm just going to time lapse it rather than uh, trying to show you something coherent. And then we can leave this side where there's already some trees. We'll put some more custom trees in and this side can be a little bit more wild. Maybe they tried to clear it at some point, and now there's saplings coming in around the, the roots of the, the old remaining trees. So I think I'm done for now. I think I'll just have to leave it here for today. For some reason, this took me four hours, maybe five. I have no idea why. This texturing bit took a long time, but I wouldn't really have thought that added up to that much, but uh, apparently so. I was planning on doing some stuff over here as well. It's just too much. I'll have to just do it as two separate builds. I'll have to come back to that another day. We'll go have a look. 
So once you get to the top of the stairs here, you can come around this way. This will eventually have the crane here. It's still just a box for now, and I haven't done much decoration around it. But it leads off to another path, which goes around this geode. We've got a little pond area up here with a, a waterfall down. Some more berries. Little patches of storage here and there. I imagine that maybe they put broken tools or bits to repair tools in here. Just so that when they need something, it's just here. And then the path just winds along like this. And it does join up to where the second crane is going to go over here. I wasn't sure how to make it so that they connected without having them overlapping too much, as in having it come right out and then have stairs coming up, which would have made it huge. And because I don't know where the cranes, you know, I, I don't know what the cranes are going to be holding and where that's going to be hanging, I didn't want to start having stuff protruding out too much just yet. So for now, we've got some scaffolding around the place just to get up and down between the levels. We've got some rail carts down with some rails. At the moment, it doesn't really do anything. It would be nice at some point to actually get them running so you've got a bit of movement around here particularly once we've got villagers out in this bit there's little tables here where stuff would be loaded onto the carts and then shipped out and there's a little path here which has the rail cart going up the side which does eventually lead to this little area atop the geode where there is more stuff being stored getting ready to be taken to wherever they're taking it i've added a couple more geodes on this top level just little little bits poking out as if they've been cut down already and again, I'd like to do something similar to this basically all the way around. I'd like to add more hot springs, these little hot spring areas, and have more geodes and custom trees. At the moment, we've just got these little custom saplings kind of bending out ever so slightly over the, uh, the walkways. And we've also got some stumps. So this is where a big tree has previously been felled. And now the stump is starting to regrow again. So it's got some little, some little sticks and some bushy bits. And that's about it. There's some more custom trees along here. I would like to add big proper custom trees. I've got that custom tree that's above the nether portal. I'd like to do more like that around here, but because I don't know where the cranes are going and stuff like that, I don't want them to be blocking views. So they'll probably be the last thing that I put in. Once um, once the majority of the work is done, we've got the cranes, we know where things are hanging, we know where all the, the action is. It doesn't make sense for them to be having loads of minecarts around a, a great big tree, because there'd be the potential for stuff to get stuck or for the tree to fall on equipment, so. Some areas would be cleared and there'd be mining activity and then other areas would still be quite foresty. Some custom trees over there might be quite nice. But next to this little pond bit here, there's some more felled trees and another little geode. Um, I think that's about it. I'm not sure why that took four hours to do. I mean, the texturing did take quite a bit of time, but I don't know. I was enjoying it. I quite like just methodically replacing blocks. And there's some texturing along here. There are some fallen trees as well, like there's a stump on top of the, the doorway now. But there's also some logs that have started to regrow as well. There's some branches coming off of them. And there's another slightly bigger geode under this kind of like secondary platform here. Yeah, it's cute and pretty and I like the, the kind of bittiness of it. I like the ladders and the scaffolding and the rails. They add quite a lot of texture rather than just a lot of squares everywhere. I also added some more lights to the bottom of the amethysts, so you get a bit of light going upwards into the sky, so hopefully that will help to attract the attention of an amethyst drake. It's it's just signs and chains around a frog light. But it's very pretty as you're coming out of the doorway. Uh-oh. Lights. Light. What was that? Lights in the harbour. Woof. Okay. What does that mean? You mean the ones I put there? You mean something else? All right, we'll go have a look. Um, excuse me? Who is that? No, really, who is this? Lights in the water. He's not wrong. So that's what he meant. He didn't mean to get a frog light farm. He meant that something was coming. We just better hope it's friendly. 